What's that? Hmm, I should subscribe. When it comes to amazing technological artwork pieces, Davoom is at the top of my list. I mean, every time I go around town with my sling bag, it's an instant conversation starter and everyone always wants to know where I got it. And that's because it's so cool, it's so customizable, and it's just a fun time. So if you're a fan of that retro pixel design, maybe you're somewhat of an artist, or maybe you just want to start conversations everywhere you go, even at home, Davoom has you covered with a bunch of different products. And right now, their latest product right here is the Pixu 64 Pixel Art Cloud Frame, which is actually one of the largest pixel displays that they offer and it has 64 pixels going in each direction and wow like just looking at this I can already tell this is gonna be one of the centerpieces in my studio because just look at this thing you can customize it to do whatever you want and it's actually a little bit better than this pixel sling bag when it comes to customization because as you can see not only can you customize it with different artwork faces but you can use it as a clock you can take a look at what the current price on bitcoin is you can see your youtube subscriber count you can see your video views all this different kinds of stuff with this one little frame i mean seriously look at this you can see the date the time current bitcoin price all right at a glance. And plus, it just looks cool, looks retro, has a nice vibe, I love it. The box has always looking very cool. I'm just so excited looking at this and I'm glad to have it in my hands. Because remember, not only is it an art frame and a clock, but it's also a social media tracker, pixel art creator, music visualizer, and interior lighting decoration. Pretty much you name it and you can do it with this. So if you got a nice cool gaming setup, you can hang it on your wall. You can even go as far as setting it on your desk. It's really up to you what you want to do with this. The possibilities are endless. It does all this by connecting to your phone on an app and you have full control over everything that you want to do with it. But it does also connect to Wi-Fi and that's how you're going to get current Bitcoin prices, current subscriber stats, and all that good stuff. The boom, look at that. Very nice. Pixu 64, we're coming in fast. Inside the box, we have a braided USB-A to USB Type-C charging cable, along with some anchors so you can easily mount this to your wall. Also inside the box, I have a user guide. Wow, okay, I wasn't expecting this to look like an actual screen, but that's what we got here. We got a nice screen with a nice matte black frame going around it, looking very sleek. Down on the bottom, we have two quarter inch threads so you can mount this to a tripod of sorts. Over on the back, we have a mounting hole so you can hang this on your wall. A mounting stand that's held inside the mounting tray, which will actually go inside of here if you want to stand this up on your table. We have the speaker grill for the buzzers, as well as a micro SD card slot and the USB Type C port. Over on the top, we have another mounting screw hole. And over on the front, we have the microphone grill. Then over on the right side, we have a multifunction button that doubles as a power button, as well as a mode switch button so you can control everything. And really that's it, it's a very simple design and I'm really digging it so far. I do see that we have a film over the screen so I wanna take that off. Smooth. And it looks like there's actually a screen protector pre-installed underneath of that film so that's actually very nice to see. We do have a couple of bubbles here but I'm assuming those are just gonna go away on their own as we start to use this thing. But now that we got the film out of the way, let me come back to the back, show you guys this little stand. You pop it out, you can easily slide it into place just like so, get it nice and tight, and now it'll stand up, ready to be displayed, and ready to start the conversation. And remember, if you want to take this on the go or you decide to hang this on your wall, you could easily slide it back out, put it back here so you don't lose it, and now you're ready to do whatever you want to do. So now I'm really excited to try this thing out, so let's get the USB Type-C cable plugged into the back. It'll easily slide down through this little groove right here, perfect. And now, wow, waiting to configure, it's already on. Now as far as getting this set up and ready to go, we're gonna go inside your app store and download the Davoom app. We're gonna open it up. You're gonna make an account if you don't already have one, but obviously I have a sling bag, so I'm already ready and set to go. We're gonna go to the bottom right and tap on me. You're gonna come to your little profile page. As you can see, it says my device right here in the yellowish gold. And as you can see, I got my sling bag already paired up. You already know. So I'm gonna tap on add device. It's gonna search for the new devices. Search is complete, and as you can see, available device is Pixu64 disconnected. We're gonna tap on that. We're gonna enter in our Wi-Fi information so it can connect to the internet. And remember, it has to be a 2.4 gigahertz network for this to work. And now after we tap on next, it's gonna get the device connected to Wi-Fi, and as you can see, it is in the process of connecting. 
I'm so excited! And as you can see, now we're connected to the Wi-Fi just like that, and the screen is already activated, and I can see each and every one of those 64 by 64 pixels. It looks amazing already, but we do have a firmware update available, so we're gonna update this thing. Now while this is happening, this is the first Pixu device that I've had that actually connects to Wi-Fi. With a sling bag, you're stuck using Bluetooth from your phone. With this one, because it has all those smart features like the Bitcoin tracker, subscriber count tracker, and all that cool stuff, it does connect to Wi-Fi, which is a major plus. It beeped! See, I told you that speaker was for a buzzer. Ooh, Pixu. 64! Mmm! Davoom! Wow! When it looks like we are powered back on, it is showing a bunch of different artworks, and they're all amazing. And now inside of the app, now that the update's completed and we're completely connected, we can see our device, Pixu64, you can go to device settings, you can change the clock to 24 hour format, your location options, you can have it set to auto locate or you can manually input a location. We have location method for time zone, I have it set to auto. You can choose if you want Celsius or Fahrenheit when it comes to weather. You can choose your startup animation between like literally any animation that's on here. As you can see right here, we have a Davoom Didu, which is actually really cool. I'm gonna just set it as that, cause it's awesome. You can choose to rotate the display 90, 180, or 270 degrees. We'll just keep it at zero because we have it upright right now. But of course, you can put it sideways or upside down and you'll be fine. You can have tap to play on and off. You can adjust the brightness here. The brightness is all the way up right now. I can bring it down halfway. Oh, as you can see, it dims down so that way it's not keeping you up at night. Very cool. I'm gonna just leave it maxed out for now. And you can also factory reset the device, but we're not gonna do that because we wanna play. And now that we have it all set up, we can actually play. So let's go play a little bit. We can go to the discover page and discover all kinds of different stuff. We have designs, animation, pixel coloring, alarm, planner, celebration days, countdown meter, and more. As you can see, we also have music, stopwatch, scoreboard, chat, noise meter, and voice commands. Okay, that is a really cool design right there. It was pretty trippy, but I liked it. Now let me take a closer look here. That is awesome, like you can see each and every pixel, like, you know, when it comes to like a 4K TV, you're like, I don't wanna see pixels, but with this, the whole point is to see all the pixels and you can see them all, that looks awesome. It literally goes edge to edge to edge to edge. I mean, seriously, take a look at that, take a look at all those pixels, it just looks awesome. Look at that, amazing. So as you can see, right here is the default clock that we have, up top we have the date, down here we got the time, we have a little image in the corner, of the house I guess, a little red blank, and then we have the temperature right here. But if we go in the app to channel, we can actually change this to a bunch of different things. So up here on top we have social options. So you can actually track your YouTube account, your Twitter account, your Devoom account, influencer accounts. Oh, that's cool, it actually shows you a bunch of different services as YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, all that stuff. You can also see your Twitch account, your Twitter account, YouTube likes for your video and YouTube views, that's actually cool. We can see your Twitch stream, you can see your Do You stream, your Billy Billy stream, your Billy Billy video, Billy Billy account, Billy Billy concept video, all this Billy Billy stuff, I don't know what that is, but they have it, thumbs up for that. Then we also have normal clocks, you know, with just the time and different animations, very nice, very cool. Then down here, you have financial options. So you can actually track the price of Bitcoin, your US stocks, exchange rate, cyber currency, US stock trends. So as you see, not only can you use this personally, but maybe, well, I guess you probably don't own one, but you might, an exchange store. So like you go in there, like here's the current exchange rate of pesos to United States dollars right here. Very cool. You can also see cyber currency. Wow, so you can actually see Ethereum too, cool. Down here at the bottom, we actually can track games like League of Legends, Apex Legends, Overwatch, Fortnite. You can track your Fortnite kills while you're streaming. Very nice. You have holidays, counting down to Christmas, Valentine's Day, even a Christmas clock. Then you have tools like a vintage message board, world clocks, pink message board, C++ message board, a bunch of different options. More can be added all the time, so that's very cool. But right now, I wanna try out the YouTube account one, so we're gonna tap on that. It's loading up, it's on here, and now we're gonna tap on the three little dots, edit this, we're gonna search for my YouTube channel, Roderick Views, search, right here at the top, we also see a bunch of my different videos, we're gonna tap on done. We can display our view counts as well as subscriber counts, let's just leave them both on for now. Tap on apply, it's loading, can it be? There we go, we can see the view count of every video on the channel. 
You can see the channel name right here at the bottom, and then it cycles between the view count and subscriber count. 66,700 as of right now, very cool. Now, as you can see, it rounds to the nearest hundredth, but that's YouTube's fault, not Davoom's fault. So YouTube, I wish they would bring it back to the exact numbers, but I guess it is what it is. You can still track pretty closely, I guess. YouTube, what are you doing? I don't know. But I did notice something, as far as view count, this should be 25 million, but looking at this, it's missing a number, so it's only two and a half million. So it looks like it's not long enough for tens of millions of views, but you know, it's close enough. And then on the bottom, we also have the date and the time, so that's actually very cool. But then, let's see, I wanna try a different one. Let's go to Influencer, because this one has a bunch of different options. I wanna see how this one works. So here we go, as you can see, it has Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, and Devoom. So, you can turn them on and off individually, so that's very cool, so let's see, I, I don't really use Twitter or Twitch though, so there's that, but we can go to YouTube channel, it's defaulted to Davoom, and as you can see, it's showing all the different things. We have Twitter followers, YouTube followers, Twitch followers, and Davoom followers for your personal account, I guess, up top of the time and date, very nice. And now I know everyone's getting excited about Bitcoin again, so let's check out Bitcoin. So this one, I guess you don't really have to edit at all because it's just Bitcoin and that's it. Yep, there's nothing to edit about it. And right now, current Bitcoin price in US dollars is $45,945 and it's moving quick. So you better get in or just sit on the sidelines and watch if you want. This is not financial advice, by the way. But as you can see, it's raining. Bitcoins has circuitry going around. The Bitcoin dollar sign is spinning around. And at the bottom, we have the date and time as well. I like this whole, this is a really nice design. I like it. Now I'm actually kind of curious here. I want to try out the stocks. So if we go to stocks, I wonder if it's customizable. So let's go to edit. And here we go. You can actually customize it up to 10 different stocks. Okay. So we have Apple, Tesla, Excella Technologies. See, I don't know what Excella Technologies is, so I'm going to change that. Let's change it to Virgin Galactic, SPCE, not financial advice. Okay, it didn't come up searching for the stock symbol, so maybe I have to type in the actual name. There we go, Virgin Galactic Holdings, Class A stock, done. And now we'll apply. It's updating. And oh boy, there it is, SPCE, $35.21. You can see if it's red or green for the day. You can see the current time and date. Very nice. We even have AMC on there. To the moon! Not financial advice. But then remember, we have a bunch of different stuff. We also have Cloud Channel up here at the top. You can have a recommended gallery, your favorites, or subscribe to a certain artist so you can see their designs. Very cool. Oh, that's a creepy looking clown, but I like it. Up on the top, we also have visualizers. So you can actually visualize different audio. And as you can see, as I talk, it actually lights up the waveform. Very cool. You can change it to a bunch of different ones. Very responsive. Cool. I like it. Let's see, what's this one do? <laughs> these are cool like who comes up with these things so as you can see it's extremely easy to track your online stats track your bitcoin track your stocks all that fun stuff but you know sometimes you want to just unwind from it all because you don't want to always be lost in the world of technology although this is technology but just roll with me on this one so maybe you just want to relax chill out and just see some cool animations so you can actually go over here to the middle right here, tap on that box, and now you can actually see all kinds of different stuff in the gallery online and download them to your device. So you can use it as a digital art pixel picture frame. Very nice. So as you can see right here, we have the Didu spinning. That's a really fun device video right here if you didn't see that one. But as you can see, it's spinning around. It's automatically loaded up here with all 64 by 64 pixels looking amazing. As you can see, this was made by somebody else. It tells you how many pixels it is. So of course, the ones that are gonna look the best on this device are ones that are made for 64 by 64 pixels. If it's anything less, it'll try to scale it and it might work, it might not. It kind of varies depending on what it is. The cool thing is you can even search up here on the top. So I'm a fan of WWE. So let's type in WWE, see what we got. Cool, we got some different logos. We have the old Scratch logo from the Attitude Era. Very nice. There we go. It looks pretty good. Actually, it looks really good. Wow, I'm liking that. But like I was saying, this one right here is made for 32 by 32, but it actually scaled up very nicely, probably because it just had to double the different pixels and it was a pretty easy process. Now, if we go to the new logo, it's also 32 by 32. Looks very nice. I like it. Ooh, even the Monday Night Raw logo? And this one's animated? They actually animated this thing. 
<laughs> See, I don't have the time and patience or skills to do that, so it's very nice that somebody else does. And of course, you can just go through different categories. We have character. I don't know any of these characters, to be honest. Oh, Squidward, there we go. Dancing, dabbing Squidward. Download that one right there. Looks very nice. And this one's actually made for this display. And as you can see, once you have them all downloaded to your different gallery and your setup, it'll actually cycle through each one. But it looks like Squidward's a really short one because it goes back to this one really quickly. Come on, whoever made that one, you should have known it should last more than a second. Somebody made fireworks? <laughs> this, this, this is crazy. I, they, like, there's so much talent on here. It's, you thought I was lying when I said this was art? It literally is art. We have emojis. I know, emo okay, I don't know any of these emojis. Here we go. This one I'm familiar with. Barfing. Yeah, animated emoji barfing. Very cool. Oh, wow. He's even sick after. He's like, oh, that was terrible. That's crazy. It's literally like a, a actual person with that heat camera on him. Oh, it's breath. Yikes. Let's go back. I don't want to catch something. But wow, like there's so much stuff. We have nature daily like it's olympic time so here we go with a bunch of olympics here we go some beach volleyball my favorite oh very cool <laughs> like it, this is crazy like this has got to take a long time to do i can't do it especially when it's anime like i might be able to draw a picture but then i'm like i have to do more frames yeah not today so that's very nice i'm really liking this like there's so much stuff here and I'm surprised there's so many things made for 64 by 64 ready to go already ready for my new device perfect and remember like I was saying down at the bottom tap on add and you can go to work and draw your own stuff so let's see, I'm gonna get some red draw it out you can choose how many pixels you want we're doing 64 by 64 so a lot of pixels to work with and now you can see my cool artwork that totally sucks. I don't want to see that anymore. I want something nice. Let's pick Sega right here. I mean, this Sega right here is like a real picture. Like, 64 pixels is a lot of pixels. I mean, not for watching TV, but like for this, this stuff's pretty detailed. Like, wow. So like I was saying, once you download each one to your device, you can go back to channel, go to custom up here on the top. As you can see, these are all the artworks that are downloaded onto the device. You can have three different playlists, so to speak. So right now we're on number one. As you can see, we have raw on here twice, but we don't want that. You can hold on it, delete it, or replace it. We can tap on add, choose some more that we want. Let's get some old school Xbox, some Starbucks. Let's see, anything else cool on here? You, TikTok, why not? Let's get some TikTok. And then as you can see, it cycles through all of them, one after another, after another, nonstop in a loop to keep you nice and entertained with those 64 by 64 pixels. That, like, that just looks like an actual video. <laughs> so with all that being said, I'm really impressed with this device. Let me just stand this thing up to get some, you know, quick little plug in. Damn, just like so. Amazing amazing make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't because you know it's right here you know every time i do a video i can just leave it right here and people will be like what's that mm, i should subscribe hit the subscribe button hit the bell you already know but so far this thing is amazing i mean i was already in love with my pixu sling already in love with my pixo ditto and wow this thing is blowing my mind i mean just having these trackers like this is gonna just go right smack dab where i can see it all the time i can always track my stats track bitcoin track stocks all that good stuff right just by looking at it on this big display and then when i'm bored and i don't want to do too much business i can have some fun with it and just look at some amazing artwork that i didn't do myself because i don't have the time and patience and skill to do that but if you're awesome and love the pixel lifestyle just like i do i'll throw the link down below for the kickstarter for the pixel 64 because just like always the boom didn't disappoint they came through clutch this thing's amazing and I highly recommend you get one. It's just a blast.